Hi, I'm Kara. I'm a portrait photographer and here are five tips that I wish that I had learned sooner. Number one, don't get too comfortable. When you've been doing this for a little while, you can get really comfortable in your shoots and you're like, yeah, I've done this before, you know, and that is exactly the time that you start to kind of plateau and then things often don't really improve from there. So it's important that you kind of force yourself to get out of your comfort zone, to get creative, to try new creative ideas and continue to improve your photography. Number two, don't fall into the trap of buying expensive gear. Yes, good quality and more features and all of these things can be nice, but don't stop that from you being creative. I used to fall into that trap and now I look back on the shoots that I did for a regional airline, for example, on a setup, a whole camera setup that cost me 650 New Zealand dollars. And I still love the photos. It didn't stop me back then and it shouldn't stop you because good gear doesn't make the photographer. The photographer makes the photographer. Number three is networking. Networking is really important for the obvious things like building a name in the industry and being connected to other people like makeup artists and costume designers and creative directors, PR agencies, all of those kinds of things. But it also helps you to feel like you have a good community around you who knows what you're going through if you get lonely or if you're kind of experiencing se seasonal work, you can reach out to them and they will help you out. Number four, build a holistic brand. Being a photographer is so much more than being able to take good photos. It's so, so, so helpful to understand psychology, to understand relationships and how they work, problem solving, putting out fires, and just in general being an incredible person to work with. A lot of repeat customers of mine have come back and said to me that I take great photos, but really like they just love to work with me. So who you are is actually more of an asset to your business than you might realize. Number five is keep creating. When you turn your passion into a business, it's really easy to start to feel like your passion is a chore and that's when you can get burnt out. So find a way to keep getting creative. For me, it's doing passion projects and really abstract ideas just for myself, just for fun. Whatever it is, find that thing and stick with it so that you don't get burnt out and you can keep creating to the best of your ability. So there we have it. Those are my five tips. I'm Kara and I'll see you next time.